What's going on guys, Zenus here and today in this video of Exoceros, we have got a hot news and this is that we are going to get a new hero unit that's going to be a fate core enhancement version of our beloved Anastasia and her name is going to be Ignite. Oh my. <laughs> well, Ignite Anastasia fate core chance up. The first guardian is going to be available from tomorrow that is 4th of June till 11th of June. Yes, for one week she is going to be there. And guess what guys, her uh, drop rate might actually be 0.7% chance as shown right over here. But I think it might still be 0.5% chance just like Rujion, but it could be 0.7% chance as well. Well, let's see it tomorrow. Let's find it tomorrow, okay? So that's that. And this is how her uh, recruitment banner will really look like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And looking into her new artwork, guys. Look at her, she is more worthy to be a waifu than compared to before and she is less confusing compared to battery. <laughs> I was pretty much getting confused that Anastasia might be the battery whenever I pulled her like oh, what the hell I mean like they really look pretty much the same. Anyways that's Anastasia for you guys alright. And now let's look into her active skill number one. It says recovers all allies by 49% of maximum health and purifies both debuff and sustain damage or let's say the dot skills. So that means it's pretty much the copy paste. Nothing has changed on her active skill number one. And how about her active skill number two? It says deals 525% of damage to one enemy. It's a really single target nuke and that is pretty much also a copy paste from her older version nothing has changed on her active skill number one and active skill number two but what has really changed about her with this fate core upgrade and now finally let's talk about her passive skill effect and this is the skill that has been changed drastically in this update okay i mean like in this fate core upgrade version so right over here uh the first thing is that her emergency treatment level 3 is pretty much the same as that of before. What's going to happen is that if any of the ally is going to receive a damage that pretty much puts his or her health below 20%, then Anastasia is going to provide a really good heal to entire allies that is equivalent to 100% of her attack. And during this process, meaning like whenever her passive skill is triggered, she is going to get a mana. Yes, she is going to gain mana if her own health is below 20% or above 70%. And now there are more chances to get this passive skill effect uh, activated, okay? And that's gonna be really great, isn't it? That means she is going to be really fast healer. <laughs> uh, the problem with the original uh, Anastasia is that it's really hard for her to gain mana and she is pretty slow, very, very slow. Even though her healing is really superb, but she is really a slow unit indeed. And uh, being able to gain some extra mana is going to definitely help her out, okay? So now, uh, the another effect is going to be protection of the Dragon Knight. It says 250% of increased damage to dragons that have activated the Dragon Scale. And the next passive is going to be the Great One. What it really says is that over time effect, okay? Grants the Great One mark to 4 highest attack hero in the same row as self if an ally with the great one mark is attacked, it grants the dragon blood mark, okay? So that's that. If someone is having a great one mark on them and they are attacked, and it will actually grant them the dragon's blood mark. And what's going to happen with the dragon blood mark is that dragon blood, if the mark target is attacked again, while the mark is activated, again, dragon blood plus one, okay? Up to seven stacks. Yes, up to seven stacks, guys. And now dragon blood is going to do a lot of things. If the mark target does not take a hit for two turns, lose all dragon blood marks. And that's the thing right over there. Meaning like if you actually inflict a dragon blood mark to a certain target, please try to keep on attacking that target over and over again. Because like if you miss him out for like the next two turns, he's going to lose that dragon blood mark and it's going to be quite effective less, okay? So make sure that you really pinpoint that target. And with the help of Wrath, that's going to be the another effect. Uh, right up here it says <laughs> hemolysis it's like what the hell is that okay and inverse hemolysis is for like dragon blood and the inverse is for wrath okay so for wrath what's going to happen or let's say for the inverse what's going to happen is that once every turn counter when attacked dealing 50 percent damage for every dragon blood mark per dragon blood mark ally so that's that guys it's going to hit like a truck that counter attack is going to hurt real bad especially in the arena contents and yes it's going to be really great indeed okay 
And the thing is that like the difference right over here compared to the Fate Core Jeon uh, is that Fate Core Jeon will actually retaliate with 70% of the damage, whereas Anastasia is going to retaliate with only 50% of the damage, okay? So there's a little bit of damage reduction right over here. So that's that, guys. And the next one is going to be the Dragon Scale. So with the Dragon Scale, what's going to happen is that once every turn, upon taking damage, grant a barrier of 100% of own defense for each Dragon Blood mark to all Dragon Blooded marked allies for 10 freaking turns. Cannot be stacked though, but that's really great, isn't it? And that's going to be so cool indeed. That's going to be so cool. And it's definitely going to help her out in providing a really good defensive uh, you know, like property to the entire team, a defensive ability. Uh, it's going to pretty much improve the endurance of the entire team. And that's that, guys. The dragon blood or the dragon mechanism in this game is pretty much OP, and that's what has made the Fate Core Zion very, very powerful indeed in this game. Whether it be any kind of contents, people are really claiming him to be the god tier unit in this game because of its dragon uh, heritage, right? And now, our Fate Core Anastasia, the Ignite, she is going to be a dragon as well. If you guys have doubts or if you guys do not agree or have a disagreement with whatever I have said so far, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's trigger a discussion about this one. Maybe I might be living in a little bit of confusion <laughs> or maybe I might have some kind of misunderstandings. Then, If so, then please you know, like, clear it up. Uh, to me, okay, in the comment section below. I would really love to trigger a conversation with you guys. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. See you guys in the next video.